Cherry, Princess Berrigan told us about your recital, and we want to have one too. Listen. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm not having any more recitals. I'm going back to Berry Big City today. I have to start making plans for my next tour. Aww. We'll miss you, Chewy Jam. <laughs> oh, she loves tangerines. And snap peas. She loves snap peas. Here, Strawberry. I crocheted a ribbon for her basket. Oh, this is lovely, Raspberry. Oh. Did I miss her? Has she left? I was making her a new hair scent, cherry vanilla souffle. She hasn't left yet, Lemon. Phew, I'm glad. I'm not glad. I hate goodbyes. I'm so sad Cherry is leaving Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Oh, gotta get ourselves together. She'll feel terrible if she sees us like this. Uh, hi, girls. Hi, hi Cherry. to be leaving you. Oh, <laughs> We're gonna mess you. <laughs> this is for your trip home. Oh, thanks. Well, I, I better get going, but I'll be back before you know it. Goodbye, Berry Bitty City. seen worse. Oh, we can repair the Hoosiewa carbonator, but you definitely are gonna need a new hydraulic juicer rinser. Can you install a new one? No, oh, no. That's a custom part. Got a special order one from Barry Big City Motor Parts. Two, maybe three weeks. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I'm glad I get to stay in Berry Bitty City longer. And we're glad you're staying. What's that? <laughs> I think it's my next set of music students. Look, Cherry, we've added some spice to our act. Now can we have a recital? I have a better idea. You have skills beyond music. Let's hold a talent show. Anyone can enter and anything goes. Yes! We can have trophies for first, second, and third place. Bookworm Bob and his cousins Bart and Boris can be judges. Cherry Jam? Oh, that's a very good idea. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Book Club. Come on in. Hi, Blueberry. Hi, Hi Blueberry. What are you doing for the talent contest, Raspberry? The same piece on my keyboard I did for the recital. Well, you are definitely the best performer. Oh, I did make nine mistakes. Oh, but yesterday I got it down to seven, and today I got it down to six. I'm going to juggle. 
I haven't decided. I want my act to be simply sensational. Lemon, I'm sure whatever you think of will be. I'm writing a play and directing the baby bearkins in it. Oh, that's very ambitious, Blueberry. I'm going to perform the flamingo and the hummingbird. Oh, my favorite ballet. So very moving. Um, you're dancing both parts? Sure. When I win, I don't want to have to share the glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're silly, Plum. But she has a point. If you really want to win, you have to win alone. Oh, I don't know about that. Cherry and I are singing a duet, and... <sighs> so sorry I'm late, girls, but I just got a call from my manager. Wait till you hear this! Ooh, Ooh what is it? <laughs> okay. My publicist put a plug in Very Big Glam and Glitz magazine about our talent contest, and a talent scout from Very Big City is coming to see the show. <laughs> you mean it? A talent scout right here in Very Bitty City to see us? Uh huh. Well, this means I have to get down to less than uh, to to no mistakes. This is my big chance to be discovered. <laughs> All right, girls. <laughs> We're here to talk about the book. Okay. Who liked the part where Daisy Daffodil moves to a penthouse in the palace and has 18 serpents? <laughs> it's going to be just like me when the talent scout brings me to very big city to be a star. <laughs> oh, yes. Already very a star big to us. city. <laughs> oh, raspberry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lemon. Uh, what are you going to paint today? Hi, Barricane Bloom. It's my entry in the talent contest. That big, beautiful hedge at the Lawn Bowling and Croquet Club. I'm going to finish it today. Uh, not anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, Lemon. I trimmed the hedge into animal shapes. You know, topiaries? Uh, although, they are rather unique, uh, don't you think? More than unique, Barricane Bloom. They're sensational! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's try it in G. You know you found a friend that's real, that's true. When you hear the real music in you. Oh, hi, girls. Where can we put Raspberry's keyboard? Better put it over there until the stage is finished. Raspberry, you can stop. You're down to no mistakes. I guess you're right. Uh, Cherry, Strawberry, I'm ready for your final, um, fitting of your costumes. That's great. Then, uh, can I ask you a favor? Of course. Would you be able to handle the lights for the show? Oh, sure. Sounds fun. And Plum, could you help us work out a little choreography for our act? Oh, I'd be delighted. I'm seeing lots of sparkles. It's going to be dreamy, magical, dream magical. <laughs> Aha! A giraffe! Nah, not me. I know. <laughs> A penguin! No talent scout has ever seen this. Animal topiary hairstyles! Obvious sensation. Huh. Scent. Sation. <gasps> That's it! Oh, 
happens to be my sensational hair topiary for the talent show. Hair topiary? Animal hair topiary. Scented. Oh. It's a skunk? <gasps> a penguin! Oh, of course. Want me to help you wash him out? I'll take care of her, thank you very much. Okay. Um, listen. I was wondering if you could help me out by playing a part in my play. <laughs> the Berrykins can't seem to memorize their lines. But the talent show's supposed to be a competition. Hmm? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have time. If I'm gonna win, I have to put everything into my own act. Oh, I understand. You sure you don't want help washing that out? I'm sure. But thanks, Blueberry. Penguin? Let's move this lumber. We won't be needing it. Princess? Plum asked me to be in her belly, the flamingo and the hummingbird. I am dancing the flamingo! Oh! If you're the flamingo, who's the hummingbird? in her salon with her hair zoo? Yep. What can we do to help? Can you paint a snowy mountain backdrop for Princess Berrykin? Sure thing. Look for it. 
I didn't want to bother you. I know how busy you've been. Oh, no, no, no. I... Oh, Raspberry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Come on, we'll find it. Wow, you guys have been busy. Uh-huh. I did the lights. Oh. oh, Raspberry. Everything is so beautiful. Everyone pitched in. Except me. Uh, come on, better keep looking. My boutique? Oh, I already looked there. Let's just look again. But Lemon, you've given up your whole afternoon helping me. Aw, that's what friends are for. <gasps> How beautiful! That was going to be my dress for my performance. <gasps> now all I have is that. <laughs> and this. A recording of my music recital with nine mistakes. <laughs> oh! Cherry said we have talent beyond music. Raspberry, you will be in the show. Wasn't she sublime? So glad to be here at Berry Bitty City's first talent show. Uh, say, did you hear that one of our baby Berrykins ate his homework? <gasps> his teacher told him it was a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> you know how strawberry shortcake keeps Pupcake from barking in the back seat of Cherry Jam's tour bus? She moves him to the front seat. Why did the piece of toast go to the doctor? Because it was feeling really crummy. <laughs> Great idea to have the girls help me model. You really saved my act, Raspberry. Sure, Lemon. And now, please welcome Lemon Meringue and her unusual animal topiary hairstyles. Uh, scented. <laughs> You're on. so many different talents here in Berry Bitty City. Wasn't it wonderful to see all of it on display tonight? Yeah! Yeah! And now, the winners are... Third place, Raspberry Torch's Magical Musical Glitter Gown! Second prize to Lemon Meringue for her animal. 
Bristle Hair Topiaries. Scented. <laughs> and the winner is... Barry Kin Bloom for his comedy. <laughs> that's... that's me. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't win first place, Raspberry. Oh, Lemon, I don't think I would have even made third if it wasn't for your glitter gown idea. Thank you. That's what friends are for. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. In my opinion, they were absolutely above and beyond the star of the show. But do you ever get busy? Oh no, it's fun! And I love the built in hopometer. Janiebug, did a package come into the post office back there for Barry Kin Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! oh. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh. But Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of um, sad. Well, no, I mean, look. The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well... What are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. Not high enough. 
the Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh, well... Think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh. What? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. <laughs> 
Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> uh, 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 oh, bitter berries. <laughs> Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, uh, worried about? Uh, well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did. Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Barry Kin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest highest souffle idea gives me an idea too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest highest hairdo. Oh boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and backwards and, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? 
Very sure. Okay, time to take charge. <laughs> Today's the day! You ready? Wow! You look like the world's biggest souffle! Is that good? No. That's great! Orange. Oh, hi, Bosley Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm, I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. <laughs> Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Barang, are you in there? Huh? Oh no, wait! I'm shrinking it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi! Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. Oh, well, I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well... I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... 
I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? <gasps> is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Pin Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my Tower of Fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrykin Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! What do you think, Pupcake? Rock custard? <coughs> oh, why, thank you. Hmm, now what rhymes with star? <gasps> I know, far! <clears throat> Up in the sky, so very far. <gasps> Look, what's that? A falling star. One wish to make, what will it be? A lot at stake, you must agree. Little white light, a glittering ball. With great delight, I watch it fall. Soon as it's gone, my wish comes then. To see before dawn, one fall again. Oh, huh? bravo! Delightful, Miss Shortcake, simply delightful. Oh, Mr. Longface, I'm so glad you're here. It's only a week until the next story time corner, and you're the perfect person to help me with the poem I'll be reading for everyone. It's almost there, I think, but I would be grateful for some help with these two words. Oh, twould be an honor. <laughs> oh, thank you. Just those two words are all that I... Oops, excuse me. Strawberries Cafe, hope you're having a very nice day. Strawberry speaking. Oh, that's great. I'll be right over, Raspberry. Um, do you mind watching the cafe, Mr. Longface? Just running over to Raspberry's Boutique. Be right back. Why, certainly. Uh, take your time. Hmm. Glittering? Oh, no, 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 no. Glittery. Yes. I'm so excited. A custom-designed, one-of-a-kind, raspberry original dress for my own poetry night. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have all of your <gasps> merry measurements. Ooh. Now I know what size to make your dress so you can relax. <laughs> Oh, would you like to see my preliminary, you know, my first sketches? And you can make any changes you want. Surprise me. I just love surprises. Well, okay then. I guess so. Then I'll just, uh, you know, go with what I had, I mean, have in mind. If that's what you have in mind. Sounds terrific. Well, I've got to get back to the cafe. Thanks. I'll have it ready for you by story time. Falling star from outer space, huh? how doth I wish to see your face? Oh, falling star up in the sky, 
I see you twinkle with my eye. Don't fly away. You'll make me cry. <gasps> oh, oh uh, <clears throat> ah, Miss Shortcake, would you know a word that rhymes with cry? Why? Why? Of course, perfect. I mean, why change so much of my poem? Didn't you like it? Oh, oh no, my dear. I simply adored it. I merely made a few changes to give it more of that sense of, well, being there. The actual moment when you saw the star. Well, to tell the truth, I haven't ever seen a shooting star. I was more imagining. Oh, my. But to be a true poet, you must write about what you know. To write what it feels like to wish upon a falling star, you must experience it for yourself. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Plum Pudding. Where are you off to, Strawberry? On a camp out. I'm trying to write a poem about wishing on a shooting star, and Mr. Longface says to write about something, you should experience it. Ah, uh, yes. Just like when I dance, one has to feel it from within. Uh, yeah. Think it might be a little cold tonight for a camp out? Well, if this will make me a better writer, it's worth it. Oh, wait! I have some Glowberry Sunflower Energy Bars. They're just the thing for a camp out. Thanks, Plum. Looks like Raspberry's working late. Maybe she could use some munchies. Oh, do me a favor, will you? Make sure she's not working too hard on that dress she's making for me. Sure thing. <laughs> I'm changing my mind back and forth, but now I'm thinking I really like what I started with best, but now I'm worried I won't finish it in time. Oh, you poor thing. Can I help? I can cut stuff, or you could show me what to do. Oh, that's so sweet of you, but it's really important to me that I do this by myself. Know what I mean? I guess. Are you sure? I'm sure. I just hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> what are you saying? That I'm no fashion expert? <laughs> always in style, always in fashion, and it only took me a couple of minutes. What's that? Not strawberry style? No problem. I'll just pull another model out of my sleeve. There! Hiya, hiya! I'm a strawberry snow dress. How do you like me? <laughs> oh, dear. Did I cheer you up? <laughs> oh, yeah. But now I really have to get back to work. Oh, I like this so much. I just want, I just hope, I just wish I can make it in time. You'll do it. You just need a good night's sleep, a fresh start in the morning, and I know you'll make your wish come true. I'll close up your shop. Really? Okay. Good night, Plum. <sighs> hmm. Thanks again. What are friends for? be the very best it can be. That 
that's why I say we've got to finish Strawberry's outfit ourselves. Tonight. What Plot's talking about us doing sounds like this story. The Shoemaker and the Elves. While the Shoemaker is asleep, these elves sneak in and make the shoes to help him out. <gasps> we could be like the elves! Raspberry Secret Helpers! Deal? Deal! Deal. <laughs> what? 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 <sighs> okay. No more sleeping. Okay, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> oh, bitter berries, what next? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Morning, Raspberry. We were just walking by and wow. Would you look at that? What a great outfit! But, 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 where'd it come from? Didn't you make it? Um, well, I don't remember making it. I don't think I could have. All night I dreamed about sewing, but I don't remember. I mean, uh, this really isn't my original design, so I. Uh, uh, well, you see, we thought, well, it was. It was the fashion elves! Fashion elves? Yeah! You know, like the story about the shoemaker's elves? Blueberry has a book about it. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Kinda like, um... The Berrykins! But with pointy shoes! They know when you're in need, and they come at night and help. Really? Can you see them? Well, um... You can! I mean, you can't. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Those are the rules. You spy on fashion elves, they run away and never come back. That's right! Elves, Pshh. what are you gonna do? It must have been because you were wishing so hard for your dress to be made. Your wish came true. It isn't that you couldn't have done it on your own. And it's still from your design. Well, not really. <laughs> this is a much more of a complicated, but wow. If these fashion elves can make a design this complicated in one night, think what they could do with a little more of direction. Huh? huh? Now I can really go wild and design something for Strawberry that is extra, extra ordinary, out of this world. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, something like uh, like this. I'll leave a new design up for the fashion elves tonight and see how they do with it. Um, maybe they're uh, only one night elves. Uh, possibly, yes, but in case they are here to stay, I better get designing because Strawberry deserves the very best. <laughs> Keep your heels on the floor as long as possible. Don't you think we should tell her the truth? <sighs> How are we gonna stay up another whole night? I was going to until somebody said fashion elves. I'm sorry. <sighs> Releve and turn around. <sighs> Grand plie. Uh, first position. Huh? <laughs> Yum! Elf snacks! We're gonna need the nutrition. This is a monster of a dress. We'll never finish it by morning. We've got to for Raspberry. Look, let's divide the design in four parts and each take a section. Good idea. See? Now if it drizzles, we won't get wet. We'll just climb into the tent. Oh, 
seven crumbs. It's stuck! <laughs> Don't tell me. We came to see the elves' latest and greatest. <gasps> this is exquisite! Especially this area. I really love this place down here. Hmm. But see, it only goes partway around the hem. Hmm. It seems like the elves have gotten off track. Off track? Well, I, I think this outfit is a smashing success. It's fabulous! Just look at the placement of these buttons. So, uh, pleasingly unexpected. But, but, but girls, this dress doesn't look anything like my design. Hmm. But I like this detail here. Oh, and this lace over here. And these buttons are quite <laughs> clever. But the whole thing seems like too many of different designs in one. I know! Huh? <gasps> What are you doing? You're not doing a new design, are you? No, no, no. I'm writing the elves a note. Well, you could just tell us and... <gasps> Dear elves, please concentrate on uh, one idea and go with it. <laughs> Gratefully yours, Raspberry Tart. So you see the problem? I really think the best solution is to go with my idea. But I don't know how to tell the girls in the nicest way, so I don't make them feel like I'm, you know, putting down their dress designs. And how many nights have you girls been fashion sprites? Elves. Sorry, I've lost count. Um, four? I, tell you what, I'm about to open the cafe, so why don't you come back at five today and we'll talk it over. I think I'll have an answer by then. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks, Strawberry. So what do you think? How can I convince them to go with my idea and not hurt their feelings? Lemon, I'm having trouble hearing. Can you come by the cafe at, say, five o'clock? And I'm sure I'll have an answer for you. Five? Great, thanks, Strawberry. Oh, you've got to help me. My idea is just simplest, that's all, but I don't want to appear bossy, you know. I have to get back to the cafe, but come by at, say, five, and we'll talk it over. Strawberry, you said five o'clock, right? Oh, uh, hi, Blueberry. I'll be with you in just a second. <gasps> oh, uh, hey. Hiya. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi, all. Tea? Muffins? I know. Smoothies! But I thought you said we'd be meeting in private. No, I didn't. I'm sorry, girls, but I just don't feel comfortable taking secret meetings. I have a feeling this is something that we need to get out in the open. I mean, none of you would like the idea of something being done behind your back, would you? But it was only... We didn't mean to, Strawberry! <laughs> we were just trying to... It's okay. It's okay. I know you wanted to help Raspberry, which is very sweet. I just think being secret fashion elves might not be the best way. But we had to. I offered to help her, but she wanted to do it all by herself. Helping is good, but... <sighs> well... Pardon the interruption, but here are three of my latest versions of your poem for your review, Miss Shortcake. What were you saying, Strawberry? Oh, it's just... Sometimes you want to make something your own way. You know, it's nice to know you can do some things all on your own. All on your own. Yes. Hmm. Strawberry's right. We should tell her the truth. Oh, but how? She'll be so disappointed. I'd rather make ten more dresses than disappoint Raspberry. Maybe the trouble is that we weren't working together. Let's all agree on one design and start over. Morning's a-wasting. Oh, no, no. 
<laughs> I've gotten used to oversleeping now that all my work is being done for me. Wow! Oh, it's perfect. It's absolutely amazing. Then why do you look so sad? Hmm. Because I didn't make it. I really wanted to make something sweet for Strawberry that was all from me to her. My own design, all made by me. I can't take credit for this, though, even if it is really fabulously fantastic. Although the elves could surely use some practice with their cross-stitching. See, but I'm worried I'm going to hurt the elves' feelings. But I have one more day to make Strawberry's dress, and I'm going to ask them to let me do it all by myself. Listen, Raspberry, you don't need to write the note. There's, um, something we need to tell you. It's just that I really want to read everyone a poem of my own. Oh, of course. <laughs> You're perfectly right, Miss Shortcake. I I'm afraid I got a bit carried away. I hope you know how much I always appreciate your help, Mr. Longface. As I appreciate yours, Miss Shortcake. Your poem reawakened my long-lost love of poetry. Oh, oh, girls, I know you were just trying to help. Well, if I fail, at least Strawberry could wear the dress you made. Well, I've got a lot of work to do. Maybe there's another way we can help you, Raspberry. Huh? If it's too simple, Strawberry, I have a backup dress that is... Oh, I'd know a raspberry design anywhere. It's beautiful. I've done a lot of things so far, but never wished on a falling star. I've heard they're sparkly, fast and white, with glittery tails that light the night. Maybe. They look kind of prickly or furry. Someday I'll know, but I'm in no hurry. Who knows where I'll see one or when? I guess I'll just save up my wishes till then. In the meantime, I'm just having fun. Imagining the time when I do see one. <laughs> 